Hey, what's up guys, it's Flex and welcome back. As you guys remembered, a week ago, I did an install video of some really cool, unique AMG side mirror puddle lights on my 2016 Mercedes-Benz C300. And I told you guys, I didn't wanna keep those AMG lights because my car is not an AMG. So today I'm gonna to be installing the other version, which is the Mercedes-Benz logo version. And I wanna thank DMP Car Design for sponsoring this video and providing me with the product. And if you want more information on these lights or the AMG lights, use a link in the description below. So now I'm just gonna give you a repeat of how the product looks and how the install goes. But if you want, you can skip ahead to see the new Mercedes-Benz logo lights. So here's the light and I'm going to have to cut into this blue wire here and I'm going to be installing this. This is the resistor. One side's going to go on the blue wire and the other side's going to go on the other side of the blue wire. I could tape this up and be done, but I want it to be a really nice install. So what I'm going to do is get a solder iron and I'm going to solder the joints and I'm going to use some shrink tube to cover the joints. So first step is to cut the blue wire and strip off the ends. Next, I'm gonna take the resistor and just measure out how much I need to trim back on the wires coming out of the resistor. Now I'm gonna take my shrink tube and cut it down to size. And then I'm gonna slide them over each end of the blue wire. Now I'm gonna take the resistor and then wrap one end of the blue wire to one end of the resistor and the same for the other side. And once that's done, I'm gonna solder the joints. And then I'm gonna slide the shrink tube over the joints, heat it up, and shrink it down. So that's it. Now I can go ahead and install this on the car. Because I'm working with electrical components, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. On the driver's side of the car, I already removed my cover, which is carbon fiber, but here's how to remove the stock cover. Now I'm gonna disconnect this connection here, which runs to the light that shines through the bottom of the side mirror. I'm just gonna grab some needle nose pliers, pinch on the sides and pull it right off. So if I follow the wires down, right here is the light. It's held on by an outer clip here and an inner clip right there. So I'm gonna to have to pry up on it to release it from the housing. And that's it, the old light is off. To install the new light, since this is the driver's side, I need the one with the L for left, and I have to install it with the L sticker pointing inwards. I'm gonna start by installing the light under the inside clip first, and then follow by pushing it down so it's under the outside clip. This was tough to do, but after a while of working with it, I was able to get it installed nice and secured. Now to check my work, the lens should be perfectly aligned on the bottom. Now I just have to reinstall the connection and reinstall the mirror cover. 
So there's actually two options. I've already installed one here. I left the cover off because I'm gonna uninstall it and install the new one next, but I already reconnected the battery. Here's what option one looks like. And there you have it. It looks very similar to the AMG version with the stripe, but instead of the AMG logo, it's the Mercedes logo. It actually looks pretty good. Now let me remove this and install option two. So here's option two. Wow, I like this one a lot more. It's the Mercedes-Benz logo and it's actually really nice and large. I think I prefer this than the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the other side and I'm good to go. Well, there you have it. The Mercedes-Benz logo lights just complement my car a lot better than the AMG lights. The AMG lights are really cool, but they're just not really for my car. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.